Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've got a viewer writing in. This is Kieran. He's writing in the heading of the email is D810 versus D850. He says, Hi Matt, thanks for your videos. I've been a long time viewer, but this is my first time writing in with a query. Currently here in Australia, there's a sale on where I could get a D810 with an extra battery and a vertical grip for 2000 less than the D850 by itself. I was looking to go full frame by the end of the year as I have some trips planned next year where I want a full frame camera. I will be keeping my D7200 for wildlife and sports, but I want the full frame for landscapes, astro, and some portraits. I was thinking of saving for the D850, but with the current $2,000 difference, do you think this D810 would be the best buy and use the money saved for a wide angle lens? Example, a 1635F4. Thanks for the help, Kieran. Well, thank you for your question, Kieran. And right off the bat, yeah, I think it's a great idea with one caveat. If you are a video shooter, then you may want to seriously consider whether the 4K abilities and the more enhanced abilities uh, for video of the D850 is something that you need or want or would feel, um, you know, after you go and buy an 810, would you feel that you are missing some of those things? That would be my only caveat. If you're not big into video, I still think the 810 is a fantastic camera. 36 megapixels is more than enough for most people. And when we're talking 36 to 46 in these full frame, high performing sensors, I don't really think you're going to be that disappointed, especially when you can save that much money over the D850. Is the D850 a great camera? Absolutely. Is it a good value for the price? Sure is. But the D810 still knocks it out of the park. The D810 still punches far above its weight class. I really like the camera. It does very solid um, 1080 video, and it has incredible resolution and uh, just great overall image quality, good autofocus system, nicely built body. Everything about the D810, I love it. As I said, my only caveat is if you were to be very interested or significantly interested or really going into video, the 850 might be more of a better choice for you because of the enhanced video abilities and the fact that it's 4K. If video is not a consideration, by all means, I would probably do exactly what you're considering and that's go for that 810. I would pair that up with the 1635 F4 if that's what you want for wide. That's your choice. It's a good option. I would pair it up as well. My number one lens for that would probably be the 24 to 120 f4 VR. As regular viewers know, I love that lens. I'd throw the 85 f1.8G in there because I love having a nice portrait prime. And the 85 f1.8G from Nikon's a beautiful offering. I'd probably get either the 200 to 500 variable aperture um, lens from Nikon because I really like the reach. The 70 to 300 uh, VR is a decent option as well for less money. And uh, perhaps if you wanted more of a pro lens, 70 to 200 f4. I really like the f4s because they're smaller, lighter, and very, very sharp. You're just losing the little bit of speed. And if I want more speed, I go to a prime. So that's what I would do. Let me throw it back to you guys. Do you agree with me? Would you go with an 810 in this situation, except unless you really wanted video? Or would you still go with the 810 and you're okay with 1080? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out Karen. What would you do in this situation? D810? D850? What lenses would you get? Let us know in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys. Rounds out the responses. Helps our viewers when they're trying to decide what to do here. And uh, thanks for your question, Karen. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.